You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the refugee camp. Yes, Commander. Well, I followed your advice. What do you think of my new look? It's a shame you need a disguise. I liked your old look. Me too. But sacrifices must be made. Kelly Chambers is no more. Citadel records now show me as Felicia Hannigan of the mining vessel Typhoon. Pleased to meet you, Felicia. No, you can call me Kelly. What about the food we were promised? It's been allocated hey, to the Presidio. I've assumed full control of the Eclipse, and we're Commander committed Bailey to moving forward with Arya. Tell him Garrus Vakarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. I rescued those soldiers from Reaper territory. Excellent work. The Shadow Broker has authorized me to offer you a finder's fee for his guard's safety. And now that our business is concluded, I have to tend to some other engagements. Goodbye, Commander. And may I say, good luck. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Any opened goods can only Thank be returned you. for storm again. I recovered the Book of Plenix. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Earth Clan, this is a priceless gift. Thank you. You may help my people remember themselves. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Thank you for shopping at Kanala Exports.
Hey, I remember you. Shepard, right? Heard you're fighting the Reapers. Matriarch Athena. We were working on Ilium. How'd you end up here? Nah. With the Reapers making noise, I figured it was time to get somewhere safer. So I moved here. I don't think so. I've seen some video footage of you looking at Liara. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Matriarch Benazio was, um... was her mother. And, uh... Well, she doesn't know it, but... I was her father. You mean you were her other mother, right? No, I didn't pop her out. Hell, she's never even met me. Sorry, if you were human, you'd both be called the mother. Regardless of which one gave birth. Well, I'm not human, am I? Anthropocentric bag of dicks. If you care enough to stalk her, you'd be better off introducing yourself. Her mother made a choice. You expect me to just pull up a chair and say, Hi, a hundred years later? Besides, this isn't charity work. She's one of the biggest intel brokers in the galaxy. And she's got some shady connections. Like a human commander that used to work for Cerberus. Sound familiar? Anyway, you combine her work with Venezia and... Well, the matriarchs might have ordered a hit. That's not gonna happen. No argument here. I only took these crap jobs to keep the matriarchs happy that she's under control. Just as long as we're clear. We're clear. You should come clean with her. It'd be better for everyone. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Rogan forces reported heavy casualties and destroying a Reaper strong. That bartender over there? The matriarch hired by the Asari government to track my movements? She's your father. I know. I never get to surprise you with anything. I'm a very good information broker. And you haven't talked to her about spying on you? If I did that, they might send someone who wasn't as sympathetic to me. Besides, this is hardly the time for family reunions. Liara. Oh, fine. Come on. I can't blame the matriarch for keeping an eye on you. I am not my mother. Mm, you did threaten to flay someone alive with your mind. I had to make them take me seriously. I wasn't going to actually do it. And... You bugged my office on Ilium. That'd be the logical conclusion. Yeah. The matriarchs aren't gonna do anything to you. Especially in the middle of this damn war. My reports don't show much activity from the Asari military against the Reapers. Come on. You know how Asari work. Infiltration and sabotage. But against Reaper forces, that's... I know. About as useful as tits on a Hanar. Good thing we've got the Turians and the Krogan to do the heavy lifting. Our people just aren't built for the front ranks. So, yeah. My dad was a Krogan. Yes, I'm aware of that. So, that makes you a quarter Krogan. That's not how it works. I'm a thousand years old. I've had kids with Hanar. Don't tell me how a sorry reproduction works. Wait, I have a half-sister who's part Hanar. I thought that wasn't how it worked. All I'm saying is, feel the urge to headbutt something, it's genetic. I have never wanted to headbutt anything. Really? Not even a little bit? Come on. I do not headbutt people. All right, fine. 
Uncle's blood rage on me. Or what? You'll tell the other matriarchs to order a hit. Hey, that's not gonna happen. Nazi and I were together for more than a century. You loved her? Of course I loved her. She was so smart. Always thinking. Nice, too. Hell of a lot nicer than I am. Damn that rack. I mean, even before she hit the matriarch stage. You don't need to tell me everything. Nazi was the only one who ever listened to me when I said the Asari were stuck in the past. Only difference was I wanted us to stand on our own. She wanted alliances with the other species. Is that why? Why it ended? Nah. <laughs> well. For a fresh spreadable alternative, maybe. try McSorley's clothing and margarine. Made from Mostly free range organic because she better. wanted to solve things a smart way. I wanted to fight. Those aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah. I hear you've racked up quite a body count. But then, you are a quarter crowded. Now you're doing it on purpose. It was pretty clear she was leaving. Can't be the wise counselor when you're married. Why not? Sex appeal. No species only pay attention if they want to have sex with you. So, you have to be available, mysterious. What? That's not true. Shepard listens to me. <laughs> and you're single, aren't you? You think Shepard is... No. No. I made her promise to let you go your own way, though. No matter what she wanted. Really? I knew you'd be special, Ken. Any daughter of hers. I told her, you're treating her like a baby bird, Nezzy. She's gonna raise one hell of a storm with those little wings. Little wing? You okay? Yes. Thanks. Better to remember her like this than as whatever she turned into with that Saren bastard. It wasn't her fault. She was trying to stop Saren, guide him as a force of good. But she was indoctrinated. Look, I heard stories about the Reapers messing with her head. They're more than stories. I've seen it. Every Cerberus soldier is a Reaper slave. She fought it with every fiber of her being. She even broke free and helped Shepard on Novaria before she died. I was there. She said I'd made her proud. All this time, I blame Nezzy for it. A thousand years old and I still don't know crap. Thanks for telling me. Just take care of yourself out there, okay, kid? I will. Dad. Hey. <clears throat> I've called a few friends. Commander. Eclipse girls. Owe me some favors. They're all yours. Just tell me where to go. You're giving me a sorry commandos? Well, you're too old for me to buy you a damn pony. You're the best father a girl could wish for. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Ready to defend the galaxy? Join the Alliance. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, Blue Rose of Helium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side, a weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But if my last days must be with Krant instead of kindness, still I will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals. Let my broken bones build a wall around your garden, so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Thank you. Uh, I should... 
Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. Good hunting. You're back, huh? Any luck out there? Here, I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. to Cipertine Armory. Thank you for shopping at Cipertine Armory. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Thank you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. I found this metagel formula. Figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. Welcome to Serta. Thank you for shopping. Using Hayes Gamma as a staging area, Reaper forces have rapidly expanded into the Gemini Sigma and Voyager clusters. Tell Matriarch Athena that our Huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them on their next shore leave. No, they were very easy to scale. The humans made some amazing breakthroughs.
I believe you were looking for these prototypes? You found them? Thank you. These biotic upgrades will save a lot of Alliance lives. We'll begin production immediately. Here, for your trouble. Good to see you up and around. Yeah. Everything all right? I guess. Oh, I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. Congratulations. Seems small compared to what's going on. You ready for the responsibilities of a Spectre? Doesn't feel real yet. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. What do you think of all this? You're a fine soldier with an impressive record. You deserve this. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon. Once I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? If I have anything to say about it, yes. I'm glad. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? I heard from my mom. They got out in time. They're okay. Good. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But... Her husband was killed in action. I'm sorry, Ash. Thanks. Yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. Seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know. But I'm her big sis, you know? In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? Invictus, by Henley. One of my dad's sappy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. And thanks, Shepard. I can't believe he did that. They were refugees. Damn it, it's not like they had much left to start with. Lost their homes, their loved ones, and some con artists swindled them out of what little they have left. 
can't believe they won't let us stop the bastard. We still ought to do something about it. You heard the commander. No proof, no arrest. I filed a harassment complaint last time, remember? Gotta watch our backs. Not much we can do with this new detail anyway. What are we, a couple of mall cops? Could have shot the bastard when we had the chance. I hate being stuck here. I hate this guard duty assignment. I hate everything right now. Nothing to do about it. We each stand duty in our own ways. At least your wife and the kids went on that trip you mentioned a while back. Where was it again? They canceled the trip. Donated the funds to some charity when Earth was hit. And then... How? Shit. I'm sorry. Any word from folk back home? No. It's a raw deal. I'm sorry about that. So I thought about talking to Commander Bailey some more about that guy scamming the refugees. Really? What'd he say? Any idea how busy he is? I said I thought about talking to him, not that I did. Damn it. One of these days I'm going to shoot you. Nah, you won't. I'm the only one willing to stand here with you all day. Shut up. I'm not going to be able to put up with this assignment much longer. I hear you. The white people in there keep acting like nothing's going on. No. That's just them coping with the war. It's the bottom feeders that are getting to me. Profiteering on the lives the war is destroying. It's sick. It's just business as usual as far as they're concerned. For some, it's even more business than usual. I hate that they're getting away with this. That we just sit here doing nothing while people on Palavin are dying. We can leave. Quit C-Sec. Go to Palavin to help with the war effort. Find your family. You... Spirits? You do that? Partners, aren't we? Of course I would. I know people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply to the whole Citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. Don't mean to interrupt, but I found these schematics. They're pretty old, but maybe they could help you. Oh, those really are old, but solid. We could totally convert our current systems to this. Thanks. Have a drink? Yeah. Raise a glass, boys. Belal Osoba. Only on account of him do I still draw breath. Belal Osoba, one brave son of a bitch. Here, here. Didn't think I was making it off Benny. No, neither did I. Neither did I. They had it. If he hadn't drawn their fire, well, we wouldn't have made it. Nope, not a goddamn chance. I couldn't have done that, what he did. No, 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 I'm telling you, I saw the look in his eye before he started off across that street. It was like, come and get me, death, you piece of shit. But you're not getting anyone else. Exactly. You're not getting anyone else. Those Cerberus bastards had us, assholes. Shit, they just kept coming and coming. And not even sure from where. Fucking hell. And poor Bilal. They didn't have to take him out like that. Brutal. 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 Hey, you ready to get this party started? Hey, Mel, you're, uh, here. Hell yeah, I'm here. For the next 48 hours, I'm spending as much time in this bar as humanly possible. Yeah, we have the same thought. So, um, the bar's over there, and, uh... Hey, is the whole squad here? Hey, guys! Um, yeah. We were going to, uh, have a guy's night. Do you guys have a tab? We're the dancers. I want dancers. Well, the dance floor's over there. Not dancers, dumbass. Dancers. I'm here for shore leave, not the Viennese Wall. I, I, I don't, um... 
<laughs> oh, come on. If there's an ass shaking somewhere on this station, you guys know where it is. Seriously, hook me up here. I had a few on the way in, but I need something cheap and fruity, like you. Listen, Mel. And then I want to see dancers, and not just crappy pole work. Mel. Like, take the raunchiest thing you can imagine, and then add a hanar hanging on somewhere. Mel. Listen, the guys are kind of weirded out by you being here. Why are the guys weirded out? Do they think I'm going to want guys dancing? Because I'm fine with Asari. No, they're... This one act I caught on Ilium, she starts out dressed as a commando, but by the end... Hmm. Well, I never looked at a shotgun the same way again. No, it's because you're a woman. What the hell? I'm a woman? Holy crap, I'm a woman. Where did these tits come from? Mel, listen. Were they cloaked? Are they infiltrator tits? Could there be more of them hiding? Nobody is denying that you're a great soldier. What is this, my damn eulogy? Shut up and buy me a drink. The guys came here to, you know, be guys, and they don't think they can do that with you here. Why not? Wait, are you guys gonna get bare-assed? Do you need me to get bare-assed? What? No. God, no. Wait, is this because you all secretly want to nail me? Well, secretly, except for Richards. He wrote poetry. No, nobody wants to... Poetry. Well, it didn't rhyme, but I think it was a prose poem. Or else he was hammered and messed up his punctuation. <laughs> no, listen, it's not like that. So am I one of the guys or not? Mel, you are totally one of the guys. So buy me a damn drink, dumbass, and let's find some dancers, perky ones. All right, deal. And later on, we're gonna kick Richard's ass. Damn, I love short leave. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the 1st Regiment is waiting for you at Bay D-24. Banner of Commander Shepard. I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our homeworld back from these bastards. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. Do you think I don't like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Lola. I was hoping you'd know that one. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. Look who's here. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty, to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse, Max, and Vorcha legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. 
of the blood pack falling in line. With Grill in charge, where all systems go. It's his voice, but my words. Couldn't have asked for a better puppet. Narl tells me Crete fell for our ambush. I knew he couldn't resist getting his hands on you. Next time, warn me I'm your bait. I'll consider it. The Blood Pack have committed 2,000 Vorcha to the cause. They'll make up the bulk of the army. What have we gained by having the Eclipse at our disposal? A ton of mechs and elite troopers for stealth operations. I'm very pleased Jonas Sedaris was released, Shepard. Funny thing, though. Sane, her second-in-command, put a blaster to her head. Hope he pulled the trigger. Apparently, insane brain matter splatters like any other. Sane has turned out to be more malleable than Jonas Sedaris ever was. My control of Eclipse runs even deeper than I expected. You surprised me by taking such agency in the matter. Is Darner Voss cooperating with you now? Getting General Araka off the Blue Sun's back did the trick. Voss still thinks he'll be getting me on mine, idiot. But he's committed his veteran soldiers to me. In turn, I commit them to you. I'm impressed you found a way to get General Araka to back off the Blue Sun. Violence can often be avoided. But at the expense of time, which we don't have a lot of. What come here, of all places? I guess I have a secret weakness for repression. Truth is, it's all about access, and the Citadel is well-connected. I'll suffer through the nauseating hypocrisy as long as I have to. Good luck with that. We'll be seeing each other soon, Shepard. I'm not sure why. There was something important I had to do. Oh, are you looking for someone, ma'am? I... Maybe. I have these papers, but I'm not sure why. Here, why don't I take care of these for you? Would that help? Yes. Yes, please. You know, you remind me of someone. My son. He's dating an Asari. She looks remarkably like you do. He's so very happy. Thank you. That's wonderful, ma'am.
Yes, I have spoken to you before. Have you found my son? I found your son's body in the slums on Benning. He sacrificed himself to save his squad. I... Uh, see. Their guilt made them avoid me. They should feel honored by his sacrifice. I... I know that I do. Thank you, my friend. Fierce fighting continues as the Reapers occupy most of the palace. Finally made it off the Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkal. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. But you weren't. You're alive. And that's a good thing. Maybe so. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody's given up. Not those Turians, not me, not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London, decommissioned years ago. Look, no guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had ESO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day? <sighs> Gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here have put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. Mm -hmm. 